Hello and welcome to the Scientific Adventures of Beard Man. Today we're going to be looking at a concept builder on physicsclassroom.com under the topic of Newton's Laws. The title is Net Force Ranking Tasks, although Net Force and Acceleration Ranking Tasks. All right, let's take a look at Net Force first. So before we get to net force, I want to talk about the idea of net, because lots of people think of a net that like catches butterflies and stuff. But if you ever had if had a job, you'll know that you get a gross amount, sometimes just called the total. So this is the gross amount that the person made that week, $10 an hour for 40 hours. They made 40, but then they got all this money taken out for different kinds of taxes. Those are known as your deductions. And then you have the net pay is what your check is actually made out for. So the net means a combination of all the factors. When you take all the different things that affect your money, the net pay is what, what you get after you take everything into account. The same idea is true of net force. Net force is the sum of all the forces on an object. Keep in mind, it's just the forces on an object. It's not super pertinent in this problem, but sometimes people will try and uh, add in a force that's on something else. So it's only the forces they're pushing or pulling on an object. Second thing about net force is that the net force is always the force used to determine the acceleration of an object when using Newton's second law, which is F equals ma. So if you're trying to figure out how fast something is going to accelerate, you have to take into account all the forces on it, not just one. Let's take a look at an example of that real quick here. In this tug of war, if we just took the force that this guy was pulling with, and we said, oh, there's a force. Let me figure out the acceleration. I'll divide by the mass. There we go. That's how fast it's going to accelerate. Well, of course not, because this guy's pulling against him. Okay? And we wouldn't use any one of these forces. You'd have to use all four of those forces and figure out from all four of those forces what the, the net force is or what it, the the overall leftover total force is, and whatever that is, is going to cause this to move. If they're all pulling equally in opposite directions here, the net force is going to be zero, and there's going to be no acceleration because they're all push pulling with the same force, and so they all cancel out. All right, let's take a look at uh, some of the problems here. So this is what the, the uh, first level will look like. Um, uh, sorry, all the levels will look like this. They'll have this kind of problem and they'll have the next kind of problem. That's right. It's just the first level has four of them. The second level has six of them. And the last level has eight of them. And I figured you didn't want to waste your time watching me do eight. You just watch me do four and then you'll figure out the idea. Okay, so rank the objects according to net force. Use one for the most negative and four for the most positive. So remember everything that's pulling left, left has been defined as our negative direction. Everything pulling left is negative. So when we combine negative eight and two, we get a total force. We can do net of negative six Newtons. Here we have negative two and four. So the net force is two Newtons. Here, these are both going the same way, four and six. So the net force is 10 Newtons. And here we have negative six plus two. Negative six plus two gives us negative four Newtons. Okay, so this one's the most negative. The most negative is one. So this one will be one. Next most negative is two. Then the most positive is 10. So that's going to be our biggest one. And three is there. So going on a number line, if we had a number line here, negative six would be over here, negative four, then two, then 10. Yeah. And so we can see going this direction, we'd have one, two, three, four. That's how we numbered those out. All right, so that's pretty straightforward. You just make sure you count all the ones going left as being negative, and then you add up all your forces. 
Uh, next, we talked about how if you're once you get your net force, then you can calculate the acceleration. If you haven't seen my Newton's second law video and you'd like to better understand this, please go ahead and check that out. I'll link it here. Um, but this uh, force that we just figured out how to calculate, we have to divide by the mass and that'll give us the acceleration. So when you have a problem that's asking you for acceleration, then you're going to have to do two steps. Okay. First, let's go through and make all of our negative forces negative. Okay. And so we'll get our, our net forces here. Uh, I'm just going to put an F this time. So this one was negative six newtons. This one is uh, two newtons. This one is 10 newtons. And this one is negative four newtons. Okay, so ranking them in terms of net force, by the way, this is the same one we just did, we would have seen this one be one, two, three, and four. But acceleration is force divided by mass, divided by mass. Okay, so we got to put the mass underneath each of these. And remember, mass is measured in kilograms. So here we have two kilograms, so two kilograms. So the acceleration for this one is three meters per second squared. Here we have 0.25 kilograms. Two divided by 0.25 gives you eight meters per second squared. Okay, I apologize. This was negative six up here. This should be negative three. Okay, we're going to run out of space over here. So I'm going to kind of go backwards, but this one would be four kilograms. And so that would be 10 divided by four is 2.5 meters per second squared. Okay, let me box all my answers here. Okay, these are the accelerations we're calculating, remember, because acceleration is force divided by mass. So down here we have 0.25, so negative 4 divided by 0.25 is negative 16 meters per second squared. So if you put these on a number line or look at them on a number line, this would be the most negative, this would be the second most negative, this would be the third most negative, and this would be the fourth the most positive. So you can see everything changed when we had to divide by the mass because the things that are lighter accelerate faster, even though there might not be as much force on them. All right, uh, feel free to uh, take a look back through this, of course, and enjoy puzzling out uh, the problems on the Concept Builder. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, click the like, like and subscribe button, and we'll see you the next time on the Scientific Adventures of Beardman.